So in this example now we've created a project from a template. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to expand the work breakdown structure. And although the project was created from a template, we can we can go in and we can edit, add tasks, delete tasks, and fine tune it to our specific um, project needs. We have to make sure we add a um, a function or a role to each of the uh, to each of the tasks. The next job then is to assign people to each of these roles. So, uh, in the case of marketing, we're going to assign that particular job to uh, those particular tasks to Tom, etc. Until everybody in the organization, until all the tasks have been assigned to individuals. So we can immediately see now we can we can see that all the all the tasks have people against them, and we can see the critical path items, which are highlighted in red. We can also open a, a Gantt chart view of the project, and again we can see the critical path highlighted in red and the individuals um, to which particular tasks have been assigned. So having now created the project, the next thing we need to do is, is make it active and release it to the organization. So we're going to make it active. And what this is that what this is going to do, it's going to push the tasks out to individuals in baskets, which we'll see in a moment. So now we're going to log in as one of the people within the organization, Tom. This is Tom's in basket, and we can immediately see that he has a number of tasks to complete, and we can sort and filter those tasks on a variety of um, criteria, such as date. Now, Tom, given this is perhaps the first time he's seen the project, is opening a Gantt chart view of the project immediately in his browser, and he can see immediately which tasks he's been assigned to. So, Tom is now going to sign off on one of the one of these tasks, having having done the work and completed one of the tasks. He's going to he's going to notify the organisation that that's complete. He's going to enter a percentage complete in the box and a date. Now, now, in in many cases, you would also attach a deliverable to the task completion, such as a document. Um, in this case, we won't we won't do that here, just to keep things simple. Now going back in as the project manager, we get an, a, an immediate um, indication that the project is now live and we have, um, we have some traffic light reports to show us the status of the tasks within each of the phases, within, within each of the phase gates. Um, okay, we can see immediately that Tom's task is complete. Next we're going to log in as Mark, one of the other people within the team. And again Tom has a task that needs to be completed. He's going to open a Gantt chart view again just to interrogate the project. You can see the task that he's responsible for. And he's going to sign off against his task. Again, no deliverable in this particular example. In practice, there probably would be. Okay, Mark logs out. And we're back to the project manager's view of the project. 
we can update the project at any time to get a, an up-to-date view of status. So the project manager now opens the project, expands the work breakdown structure and can see that Mark also has completed his tasks on schedule, which is why they're green. And we can again view that in a traditional Gantt chart view of the project.